so we finally got closes on the daily chart above this resistance band at twenty dollars however you see this pullback this pullback cause the candle on the weekly chart not to close above the resistance band resistance band because it was served as support in the past and then if you go to the monthly chart with just under a week of trading you can see how price pulled back but this potential break pullback and the next leg higher is all pending breaking and closing above the band ideally on the daily chart then the weekly chart and then ultimately the monthly chart. Now Palantir was in the news last week. They've been awarded a 330 million pound contract by the NHS England to develop a federated data platform aimed at improving patient care by integrating health data across the national service. The CEO emphasized the platform's capacity to streamline operations and improve outcomes to patients. Now, despite the optimism, the contract has not escaped criticism. Concerns have been raised regarding privacy issues and the political affiliations of Palantir's founders. Critics like David Nicole question the effectiveness of the platform in relation to its course without thorough examination. Now, Palantir's engagement with UK government project is not new. The company previously gained trust within the government circles with its contributions to the COVID-19 response. Now Palantir is trying to move away from uh, government contracts in particular defense government contracts in the US and utilize their um, tech for the commercial markets and if they're able to do that over the longer term then um, this next target that I have medium term target at twenty six dollars is definitely going to be breached and um, you know, we could see uh, price test all-time highs, you know, within the next, say, uh, 12 to 24 months. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.